See, when I look back, see the, that tournament, I was on holiday in Italy. Like, on holiday in Italy with my family. I remember watching the, the final in a small, like, bar with my brothers, my mum and dad. Watching the final, Gross obviously scored the winning penalty. And then when you, like, fast forward, when I came to Italy, he was my first manager. Like, I'm not like a... I like the idea there's fate, etc., etc. but yeah. do you know what I mean? It's just when you look back at these things, it's, yeah. a, it's strange. A thousand it's strange. percent agree with you. I feel that as if you, if you, if you, if you, if you put your governments into the mix of, of fate and kismet in the world, if you throw the dice in there, yeah. sometimes the dice will come right back to you with sixes. And, and it's not like pure destiny, because you have to act. Yeah. You have to, when you're going like, you know, Bristol Rovers or, yeah. or, or Barry, yeah. you have to go Barry. So if you, it's like these games where if that, like, well, there's people that roll the dice and rule their life, life by rolling the dice, you roll the dice and therefore you've got Fabio Grosso who, as a wee man, you're, you're standing watching in the bar on no, holiday. I know, it's mental, but he was amazing for me. He was amazing for me when I first came. Like the style, for the style of football that he wanted to play and the way like... Talk us through him a little bit. He put me straight in the team. Like straight in the team. Which I found no strange, but I was like, maybe he's going to give me like two or three weeks to yeah. like get adjusted. But no, he threw me straight in the team. Threw me straight in the team. And the director at the time, Sean, who's uh, for me is a top director, uh, that actually brung me, brung me to Barry because he's seen me in, I don't know, the youth league. Youth. Youth league with Celtic and some Scotland games that he wanted to. Well, you must have really stood out. I think so, I. I think so. But I don't. I feel like I'm appreciated by. The Italian, I don't, I, it's hard to understand, it's hard to explain, but I feel like I'm appreciated by the Italian, uh, the people who watch football, the fans, the journalists, I feel like I'm appreciated a lot for the way I play here in Italy. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Maybe in Scotland I was, I was playing good and stuff, but I, I didn't feel like I got the, like the, I don't know how, I don't know how we, to We it. as a nation, in my opinion, so I'm not putting words in your mouth, right. We still don't appreciate when maybe there's an on-field strategy that might be more thoughtful, maybe a little bit more constructed, a little bit slower. We have changed, I think, from lump it in there, run hard, yeah. bash into people and then pick up the scraps, yeah. which we became for a little while. Yeah. And from my taste, when I watch you, there's, there's vision left and right, there's vision in front of you. It's, it's a highly responsible role you play, whether you play right midfield or more centrally, or if the team, if you start right and the team moves up and you move in, you have to have vision, you have to have patience. And it's, it's, it's a, from my taste, it's a much more, um, I think it's a more intelligent brand of football. And I think also in Scotland, I don't think in the media particularly we're trained, we, we don't often write about football. Yeah. We write about football as theatre, so that we can yeah. get back pages where yeah, people are yeah, arguing yeah. and pointing at each other. There's not a lot of football analysis in Scotland, whereas here, it's, it's perhaps a, a sickness. They're overly analytical, yeah. and therefore I can see why what you do, what you want to do in a team, what you think your role is, what responsibility you'll take, how you use the ball, I understand that it fits better. Yeah. And obviously I'm, not, I'm not, obviously I'm not saying I'm playing for the top, top clubs in Italy, but the fact that... Um, I feel appreciated by a nation that's won four World Cups. Like, I feel the appreciation. So the, the, the general public who watch football know what they're talking about here. They live and breathe football. So the fact that I'm appreciated, being a Scot Scots person playing football in Italy, I'm appreciated by, I don't know, a small part of this country makes me feel amazing. Like, it's, it's, it's a good feeling. It is really a good feeling. And I'm glad that, like, I'm glad that I've came and, came and played. And stuck it out, obviously, when there was difficult difficult times as well. And Grosso took you with him, um, but we've got, we've got socials who've supported us, guys who've have been, um, by guys I mean men and women, who've been with us right from the start, who, who are like season ticket holders. Yes. And we've asked them for a couple of questions. Okay. I think this one fits now from Alan Brown, and I think you've hinted at it. Did you go to Italy, Liam, with the intention of staying so long? And if not, was there a specific point when you decided to go all in learn the language, explore the culture, and, and, and stay? Well, after... That's a good question, because after Barry, after the six months at Barry, when I'd done really well, they obviously went bankrupt. So I became a free agent. And there was a wee bit of, like, small bit with my agent about maybe coming back home to England. 
going back to it because I'd done really, really well. And I was like, it's, I was like, I've only been here six months, it's too soon. It's far too soon to go home. It's too, it's too soon for me to go home. So I was like, but also went to Verona and I was like, you know what, he liked me at Barry, he played me every game, I'm going to follow him. Because I was still young as well, still only 20, 22. So I was like, nah, I'm going to follow him, I'm going to stick it out, I'm going to stick it out. I don't want to just jump ship at the first sign of no adversity because I, I like what you're saying to who phoned you? Did you send Fabio? Say, Fabio, I'm coming with you or did no, he? No, no, he, pho he, phoned, he phoned me. He wrote me, a, to be fair, he wrote me a message, I think, so I could Google Translate it and like yeah. put it in English so I could understand it. He wrote yeah. me a message and obviously Barry went bankrupt, which he was like obviously devastating. Mm. for the fans, etc, etc, because they had to start from scratch. But they're back in Serie B now and hopefully next year they can, they can get up to Serie A. 